Frank Moses, a former CIA agent, attempts to live a normal life with lover Sarah Ross three years after the events of the last movie. He rejects Marvin Boggs' assertions that their adversaries are still pursuing them. After Marvin leaves, his vehicle blows up. Frank isn't certain Marvin is gone, but Sarah persuades him to go to the burial, where he gives a moving eulogy. Frank is being questioned by government officials in an FBI Yankee White facility. A group of private military contractors led by corrupt agent Jack Horton assault the facility. He threatens to torture Sarah unless Frank provides him with the information he wants. Frank escapes Horton and goes on the run with Sarah with the assistance of Marvin, who is still alive. Marvin reveals that he and Frank are being sought after for their involvement in Operation Nightshade, a covert effort to deliver a nuclear bomb into Russia during the Cold War. Horton persuades foreign authorities that Frank and his companions are fugitive terrorists. Victoria, Frank's former ally, informs him that MI6 has hired her to assassinate the fugitives. In an attempt to get revenge on Frank, Han Chobai, another elite contract killer, is also hired. Han, the Americans, and Frank, Marvin, and Sarah flee to Paris in search of the frog after robbing Han of his aircraft. Frank's former partner Katya Petrakovich, a Russian secret agent who is also looking into Nightshade, meets them. As they question the frog, Sarah tries to flirt with him in an attempt to outdo Katya. After drugging Frank, the frog gives them the key to his security box, which Katya snatches. Marvin, sensing that she would betray him, gave Frank a similar key to give her. Upon opening the box, Marvin, Frank, and Sarah discover records that implicate physicist Dr. Edward Bailey in the development of the nightshade weapon. They learn that Bailey, who has been detained for 32 years in a maximum security facility for criminally insane people in London, is still alive. Marvin alerts Victoria, who ambushes the three but assists in staging their demise and breaking into the asylum. After finding the hyperactive Bailey, who was rendered unconscious by medications that cloud his judgment, they take him to Marvin's safe home, where Bailey recovers and recalls where the bomb is. Bailey determines in Moscow that he concealed the explosives within the Kremlin. The squad finds the red mercury-powered suitcase bomb there. Frank talks Katia into joining them even though she is trying to stop them. After they manage to get away, they receive a call from Victoria, who has escaped from MI6 custody after they were unable to murder him. She tells that Bailey was detained because he intended to explode the bomb in Moscow. The anti-communist Bailey, who is holding Frank at gunpoint, verifies Victoria's message by acknowledging that he was the one who first revealed information about Project Nightshade and struck a deal to give Horton the bomb. He frames Frank, murders Katia, and takes off with the bomb. Bailey uses nerve gas to escape and finds refuge at the Iranian embassy in London, but Horton breaks their agreement and plans to torture Bailey for all of his secrets. Han attacks Frank as he pursues him. Frank and Han are in a standoff when Frank asks Han to help stop Bailey. Han gives in, and the five decide to take back the explosives. The Iranian ambassador is captured after Sarah seduces him. Marvin pretends to be a possible defector, which creates a distraction inside the embassy and lets the team in while they're dressed as plumbers. When they discover where the bomb is, Bailey has already set off the timer and murdered Horton, expressing his desire for vengeance against the entire espionage community for their part in imprisoning him and, it seems, killing his family. Bailey rushes to Han's plane to avoid the impending explosion after taking Sarah hostage. Han, Victoria, Frank, and Marvin pursue. But Marvin's efforts to defuse the suitcase bomb accelerate the timer's countdown. After Frank boards the aircraft, Bailey confronts him with the suitcase, and he makes Frank take Sarah and the suitcase with him. But when Frank admits to hiding the bomb inside the aircraft and confronting Bailey with the empty container, the plane blows up during takeoff, killing Bailey. Han yells that he needs $20 million for not killing Frank and $30 million for his plane. As the movie comes to a close, 
Sarah is having fun with Frank and Marvin while on a mission in Caracas. 